So this is a very exciting release by MiniZ specifically for delivery. Yes. So it uh, this drift is I think oh, it would be a drifty because it's an drift. all-wheel drive yeah. one. And so shall we have a look inside? We can do. I think we should. So I, I like the retro look of this. I agree. It's got the old school HKS uh, Skyline livery. Yes. And I like the, the actual colours they've used. So let's just pop them out. There we go. There it is. Nice jump on this side. So one thing I've just noticed through the window here, this is uh, the receiver. I don't know whether you can see through the camera. It says FHSS. So that's oh. really important because you can pay out and or bind this car to a yep. Futaba radio. Oh, really? So, yeah. So so some of the Mini Z have the ability of being paired or binded to a uh, Futaba radio, which yep. means you don't have to use the radio that comes in the box, but you can yep. use your, uh, the radio that you use every day for your racing for sale. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, that's really a plus. Uh, and as you can see, the level of detail is phenomenal. So mm. They reproduce the wheels uh, yeah. and all the different body details. Uh, and this HKS kind of livery mm -hmm. um, is very much um, something that people have been waiting for for some time. So we received quite a few of those, but mostly they are already sold out. I've got a couple of left. It's really well done. I really like it. Really well done. The attention to detail on the it's, bodies is well yeah. done. Let's see if you can see the rear end here. I can see all the lights here. Yeah. I've got a good gloss on it. Definitely. But there's a lot more to come in the box, actually. Yeah. So this is the other part of the box. So the main part is the radio control unit, yeah. which is underneath in the bubble wrap. But you get a few little bits and pieces. So over here, you get some specialty tools. Yes. So you got the covers for the battery. I guess that's the spare, is it? Uh, probably is, yeah. And then... There's, this is probably the pinion gear tool because that's it can right. change the, uh, pinion, the yep. gearing. And then there's another little tool here which probably helps you take off the wheel nuts. That's right, yeah. And a couple of spare little little rings. Yep. And then this is a nice packet. Of course, it's a max of gearing. Yeah, too. spare gears and the pinion set. So pinion set to change gear ratios and then different spur gears to go with it. And... Oh, this is a whole stack of them. Um, the brilliant. Yeah, that, that would be good fun. Yeah. So this car are quite tiny. They're really good for indoor use. So yeah. even if you have these cones, yeah. it's quite nice. You can put a small layout in your That's right. office, perhaps, yes. uh, or <laughs> living room. Yes. And have fun with a the cat. Well, there's plenty there. There's 20 of these there. Eh? So you'd be able to lay out something really nice. Definitely. And then you've got the controller. So a controller. It's like so. Very simple, straightforward controller. So that's yep. really good for anyone who has not played with this kind of remote control car before. Yes. Keep it right. simple. You got your steering, a couple of dials here for um on the trims. For the trim. So you make yep. sure the car was front and straight line. Yep. And you just need some batteries. But that's right. So just some AAA batteries. And then the car itself takes AAA batteries, batteries as, well. as well. Yeah. So I like as you we just suggesting, so these run on traditional AAA batteries, so you don't need any rechargeable or whatsoever. You can just go to your supermarket and buy some some normal batteries. So yes. you can take these on holiday without having to take charges and any other tools. That's and, right. Uh, be a really good fun fun game.